Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord, let it be a precious time where we give glory to God. Each of you, in your, as you live life, what, what kind of heart do you have when you live life? Now, what kind of heart do you have right now? And in the future, how do you want to live? What is the path of living as a proper human being? You've thought of it at least once, I'm sure. To live as a proper human being, really, what path is that? What way is that? How do we do that? To live as a proper human being, but instead, your life, if, if it's in shambles now, there's somebody, you, look, you respected somebody, look towards them, and that person, they have money in their pockets, full of money, but their children, it's in shambles, so you don't really look to that example. That person, they come and claim big things, and they say they're so famous, but it doesn't seem to work for them either. You know, they can do one thing, but not another. You have to be able to move. They're a famous person, they may say. People say, but the people who know the details of it, really, it's a, a sham. Quite uh, incredulous. So nobody to respect, really. And nobody really to look up to. If you have lived life a little bit, you would all experience this. So amidst that, but God, He has loved Korea, Republic of Korea. So from 20 plus years ago, He has given God's mystery. So that person, that love, after we received God's mystery, we tried that love. How is it to a proper, to a human being? What's most important to you? Some people say your head is important. Your your head, your, some people say the heart is the most important, but even other demon religions and God does, points this out that it's the heart. Proverbs 4.23 says, watch over your heart. Life and death depends on it. So you thought your head, your intellect is the most important, but some people say it's the heart, some religion. They want to clean their heart. They're still beating on it to try to empty their heart. To try to empty their heart. They, they're saying zero, zero, zero. Uh, gong, gong, gong. And uh, when you knock on the heart, there might be a sound. But God says 24 hours from from your heart, evil thoughts come forth 24 hours a day. If that's the case, so whose words are right? Each of you. What's the reason why there's a lot of religions in, religions in this world? God, people talk about God, God. After Jesus came, however, from soon thereafter, depending on what people said, somebody said, there's the word of God, but things aren't working out. So they, aha, it's a time of Jesus in the Old Testament. It works, but it doesn't work now. People, statistically, that's how, what they concluded. But amidst the word of God, John 5.17, I am alive and doing miracles and works even now. If he's doing his works even now, this isn't, it's not evolution. God is doing his works. So who made lies and say God's not doing his works anymore? It ended with creation, but the demons, they say it's evolution and making others sin, concluding like this. The people who shared this gospel incorrectly, that's the image of them, who shared it incorrectly. So here right now, in the Republic of Korea, why is the re why, what is the reason why God gave the mystery of God to the Republic of Korea? Each of you for sure, but your children, whether they know it or not, hereditary, God's mystery, forced up repentance, one heart, they grow up eating it. What is that one heart? to help fulfill world peace. No, no matter which country it is in this world, fascinatingly, they all have this in common. They want world peace. So who taught them that? Nobody agreed all of, the, all of a sudden to do that. But God, so in Ecclesiastes 3.11, he, he gave, He put it into our hearts so that we would have that thought. So each of you, we say, rejoice, our Savior is born. Our Savior is born in the... We're not talking about the uh, during the Japanese era, something that sounds like that. It's Christ the Lord, really. Who's Christ the Lord is wearing the joy. It's God's mystery. It's forced that repentance. So if we do that, what happens? Then peace will come. So therefore, each of you, you and your descendants as you live, 
those people, the person that went to work, the chairman of the company today, share number one and cry out number one if the chairman says that. If you don't do that, however, then there's no salary. If you don't preach out number one, like he said, then he'll have you go home and rest and be laid off. So God, to you and me, what he gave to us, he gave us peace. And that peace, because he gave it to us, and we're bound to go out and proclaim peace as well because he gave that to us what are we doing in our life we're busy feeding ourselves you may say like a beast then God will not give you a, be a blessing beyond that then if that's what you're busy doing you, I may be like this you may say my circumstance I'm an ambassador so I may be incognito and I'm sleeping uh, underneath a a bridge homeless uh, looking like I'm homeless but I am still uh, I'm a person that's fulfilling world peace or attempting to do that you don't know the fundamental purpose of why you're living if you know this and after a month when I ask you you don't know again even though you may know now but who's the most noble person how are they living so somebody who's supposed to be so good uh, uh, the provost of a university what's your purpose what's, uh, what are you heading towards in your life mostly people say they want to be contributors to their country and they don't talk about world peace however so this four step repentance without it because we cannot have world peace without it without God's mystery we cannot have world peace so each of you at least you should start knowing that and if you live that way then your children will live that way if you have that as your goal even though they're young but they will grow up being fed by thoughts and um, nourishment like that it's not the bowl Isaiah uh, 64 verse 8 we're a vessel that's not the issue that we're a vessel it's not the vessel that's the issue if you put a diamond in inside then it's a vessel for diamond if you put gold it's a vessel for gold if you put dog dung then it's a vessel for dog dung so whether you're good or not it's not the outward vessel that's the issue what you put inside of you that's why the, your heart is foremost most important so each of you what's living as a proper human being how would you live to live as a proper human being God's words why did you come to this church today each of you something's not working out what's most important your heart you don't this that which is your heart you're not able to rule over it you're not able to rule over it handle it 1 Corinthians one twenty. why did Jesus Christ shed, uh, shed blood on the cross the, the blood of, on the cross the blood on the cross Jesus Christ is, the, is referring to the blood of Jesus Christ referring to all of it all of the blood of Jesus Christ what are these words today What's it referring to? So as you live life, your your life right now, in your heart, through God's mystery, forced of repentance, I did it without me knowing. When I'm doing that, I'm living to, for world peace. What's most appropriate? That's how I'm living. I didn't realize it, but that's how I'm living when I'm doing forced of repentance. Why is it that people, they have... Um, like reindeer roots and all that why do we have herbal medicine because there's a benefit a nutritional nutritional value to it that's why even though it's expensive people buy it and eat it because there's nutritional value so he, if that's the case today God says all of these words is our nourishment Deuteronomy 8 3 because it's our nourishment in Matthew 6 9 the, in the Lord's prayer that the prayer he taught us he talks about the daily bread but if we think of it as a dog and a pig and we think it's the worldly food it's the physical food so it's the year end we went to a lot of gatherings so those who are going to perish they gather together for the year end parties why do they want to do the year end because they, they want to end what do they want to forget how bad how many bad deeds did they do that they're trying to forget uh, the, the year at the year end just because you try to forget it doesn't mean do you, are you able to forget it they're trying to forget their regrets that just because you're trying to empty your heart and you bang on a clang doesn't mean that you empty your heart so you live life like hamster on a hamster wheel that's the image of so many people who live life as a beast amidst that what about each of you you who have this mystery you're living as an incredible blessed person so you and your descendants that you'll do better and better we're here to receive that blessing today that uh, let all of us do well today let's all do well let's all be blessed and do well
So, that's why God says, if you want to stand here, it's not because it's a high place, high position, no, but rather that it's a place where we can share, so that each of you can eat and be nourished. How much each of you, you can eat sitting down. I'm a boy, I'm an errand boy, so I'm standing and sharing, the, doing my errand and sharing. So, Second Corinthians 4, 5, if you believe in Jesus, if you believe in Jesus truly, then to you, you're a servant to everybody. Share that, you're a servant to everybody. But the fake post, uh, pastors, there's so many of them, and there's none who's a, so no one's a servant. If you go to some church, the pastor there, do they say, that, does he pray all night and say, I'm a servant? And how must he sh she share, how must I share this message and this nourishment to turn problems into answers and to bear all the weight of the burdens and, and all the problems that church members, how they can change it into a blessing to pray for them, to receive that so that the church members can, that can happen to the church members is a pastor praying for that. You're here to receive that blessing, receive that blessings and do well. It's so good like this. So how is it? The person who's a proper human being, they don't come. So when you try to evangelize, you realize when you listen and hear, it's, it's accurate, it's, it's correct. You think, even though you may not be repenting that well, and you're, so before, when we, now the soaps are much better. So before we had to, uh, to get the dirt out, we have to use our fingernails. But these days the soaps are so good, you don't have to, there's the foam, it foams up and the dirt comes up. It's so easy to, uh, to take the dirt out before it wasn't like that. So when it comes like that, so because times are good, even though you're sitting here, while you're listening to Four Step Repentance, each word, each word, and you're nodding your head, and it gets all cleansed. Your sins are cleansed. When you go back, you change your fate. The demons depart. You have healing of all your sicknesses. You say Amen. It's Amen. It's an Amen. So, when you're listening, when you're hearing, when you try it, it works. It works a little bit. Things are working out a little bit. So, the children that aren't listening at all, they get changed and transformed. And between husband and wife, they, you, they get changed but having better love and relationship. Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. it is working, you realize. It's according to the Word of God. Pastor Park, how much would he know that he... So, the person that types with their eyes closed and correctly, is that, are they better or the ones that has to open their eyes and type? Now you know. In a, uh, in a pharmacy, there's so many missing. Amidst so many medicine, if you don't know where it is, you have a customer in front and say, hey, let me, let me find out where the medicine is. You call home. Hey, where's this A medicine? Then the, you're looking for all this medicine, looking all over for the medicine. How can you sell medicine, pharmacy like that? Even your eyes closed, you have to know where medicine A is, medicine B is, medicine C is. You can know it all. So you say amen so easily, but as much as you say amen, is it working for you? You came here so that you wanted to work. So, so the pastor standing in front, they are a person that, for whom what happens? Luke twenty four forty eight. Be a witness of how things have worked out for you in your life. Be a witness of that. Share your testimony when you boil, when you boil um, um, potatoes. Uh, if it's a, a certain type of potatoes, let's say russet potatoes versus Idaho potatoes, how does it work? How does it cook differently? How does it behave differently? Know it and share it. But for example, if you share somebody that you really is a close relative, a close friend, you share the tape, they listen. Yeah, that's right. It has to be like that. That's good. Ah, that pastor, so that he says he's a servant to the church member. Yeah, he must be a real pastor. Am I saying it? No, it's this one heart, one way. When you do that, you're bound for that to happen. So you're servants to each other. You serve each other. You each serve each other. You serve others. So here today, when you hear such good news and we share this and people say they like it, and yet they don't come to the church. They don't come to our church. But then again, even though they come, and yet they depart after that. They stop coming. Do you know why? Why that is? When you go outside of Christ, is it a blessing or a curse? Galatians chapter 1, 6 through 9, it's a curse, God says. So God says it's a curse. If you, why do they go the path of curses instead of going the path of blessings? It's a, so you, it may be fascinating, you may say. So each of you in your heart, it's coming from your heart. The, your heart is the most important, but it's coming from, from your heart. That's Matthew fifteen nineteen. The first thing that's coming out of your heart is what? It's evil thoughts. 
So it's a root of all sorts of evil. So and then after that, and then we hate others and uh, we dislike others and we commit murder. So, so the, the dirty sins come forth from first of all and second of all as well. I, I hate their guts. You may say that you're already committing murder. You commit murder and you expect to do well and be blessed. You commit murder and you expect your children to do well. So that wickedness, and after you commit that kind of immoral uh, murder, then after that the sin that comes forth is immorality. So it's all fleshly desires and sins. It's, people go crazy for that. The sins come forth from your flesh. What comes forth from your flesh? The first sin is immorality. Galatians five nineteen to twenty one. The fleshly desires. God, He wants to help help us. Where is there where God wants to help us more? Which religion says I'm? I'm the highest of all spirits. Psalms 97 verse 9. He says, I'm the highest of all spirits. You go to some, uh, no matter what religion, you go there, it doesn't work. So Jehovah God, He will make it happen. He promises this. Romans 8 32. He, I gave my only, my only son. He gave for you. He gave for us. What would He not give? What would I not give you? He says, where's there a promise like this? God made these promises to us. He says He is Almighty, and yet, and He's the highest of all spirits, He tells us. And yet, whatever I do, nobody can interfere, He tells us. Isaiah 43, verse 13, He tells us this. Even the blessings He gives us, nobody can block it. And the punishment He, he gives us, nobody, no spirit can block it. He is Almighty. He says He'll give us all good things. And why then? The second and third? The you go to the churches with that's demonic and why you're not able to come to this place where there's blessedness so because if you're so great or you're not so great that's not the case because those are in fear that's the the demons of immorality hosea 5 4 the one who, so each of you when you have the demons of immorality you cause all sorts of problems things don't work out to that person when you share this to them why Jehovah, to Jehovah God you cannot come into Jehovah God the true God is Jehovah God people say that but the reason they can't come towards him is because of your sins of immorality because of the sins of immorality so when you commit the sins of immorality and you think that's so good sins of immorality and fornication and to the people they think they're so good that's the joy they enjoy that and they want to have uh, more um, er herbal medicine to make their virility strong those gospel the people who come here share this gospel and depart only one heart one way prevents them from departing those who don't do one heart one way they depart the, the sin of betrayal they live in the desert and the, why did they why did they depart to commit the sins of immorality? That's why they depart. It's recorded there. So those who don't do God's mystery, it's because they want to sin, commit the sins of immorality. Hosea 5.4, it's recorded there. So Jehovah God, they like Him so much. He helps us. He helps our household. He helps our children. He makes us go to heaven. He gives us all good things. And even though I poured out all sorts of things, he, I spilled all sorts of things, all 10,000 things, he, he, he restores it. I should go there. And yet they're not able to come because of the sins of immorality. Hosea 5.4, let's read with one voice. Their deeds will not allow them to return to their God. For a spirit of harlotry is within them. And they do not know the Lord. Amen. Each of you. You want to evangelize so hard. Even between husband and wife, you say, please, let's go here. They don't want to come because they want to commit the sins of immorality. Because of sins of immorality, the heart of harlot harlotry, they don't want to go there. Why do they go to the fake churches? Because, you know, the, everybody's committing the sins of immorality there. There is no God's mystery there. In a word, they don't have the light of God there. So, they're in darkness. You're, you're a sinner. I'm a sinner. We all, you sin, I sin, we all sin. We're all busy sinning. They go to places like that, but where there's a light that's bright, that separates the wheat and the chaff, they're not able to go to that kind of church. What's the reason why they're not able to come to our church today? To, to a church that has this light, the bright light? Let's read one more time. If you want to share, evangelize to somebody who has the sins of immorality. You're sick, so why don't you come to be healed? They don't want to come here. Your children are, are sick. They don't, why don't you come here? They can be healed. No, they won't come to that person. This, you're not able to come because of sins of immorality and they'll, they'll want to pick a fight with you because they hate hearing the rightful words the righteous words so what must you do what's inside you when you have the holy spirit inside you this matthew 12 28 after you've been baptized when i have died and i have my i don't have my own thoughts and theories but god gives the holy spirit to them when you matthew 12 28 
The Holy Spirit casts out all the demons that's in our heart and in our mind. So that person, then that per, uh, the person you evangelize to and, and can end up coming to church. If you're not even full of the Holy Spirit inside you, if you have demon inside and you're bound by the sins of immorality yourself, and says, oh, pastor says, oh, if you don't come to early morning service, then, then you don't like your own flesh. Your, body, your enemy is your flesh. Your flesh is your enemy. To your first enemy, First Peter 2.11. Our flesh is our biggest enemy, first enemy. We don't, we're not even able to win over our fleshly ways, and yet we're, we claim to be going and evangelizing. That's foolish. So they go out for evangelism, and then they both uh, commit sins of immorality. You have to have received the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit has come upon you. But in the factions and dissensions, do they have the Holy Spirit? God does not give the Holy Spirit to those who cause factions and dissensions. Jude one nineteen. when you don't have the Holy Spirit inside, you have the demons inside. God says those who cause factions and dissensions, they'll be hellward bound. They're, so let's cry out so that they can all go to heaven. Each of you in our life right now when you go out for evangelism it's so fascinating it's incredible it's unfortunate so in the newspaper they talk about we shared about the love of God we cried out so much those words those who ignore it they all fall into ruins it's quite pitiful very unfortunate it's shared so they can change they can share their change their uh, faith but they go the path of ruins those who betray God's words and betray they all betray because of sins of immorality but the fake churches so they don't depart so easily from fake churches because they're the same demons they're sit, gathered together with the same demons so here we're shining the light so the demons who like darkness they're not able to stay here so this is where we separate the wheat from the chaff so we only gather the wheat the, the true kernels in our current life of reality your life your life these days doing four step repentance restore your faith you find peace in your heart so your children are doing better and better you can see that so for world peace you see the image of them how they're growing for world peace even you're getting old, older but you're going towards uh, trying to fulfill world peace when you have that joy that God gives as you live life that way you realize aha uh -huh, I really have lived wrongly you're able to realize this so you end up realizing this so amidst the unfortunate circumstances even now the person that's you how must I live a person that called me how must I live as a proper human being how can I p live for, for world peace and how can I pe uh, what's good for your your neighbor is not good for those your village may not be good for other villages if, if you're contributors to your own country but it harms other countries that's not good the whole world has to like it when you, do, you live life that way, that's how you can live as, as a proper human being, not just benefiting yourself and your village, but not others. The world says we're all unified as one in the world, but when you don't have God's mystery, then you don't become unified as one. The fir President Lee Sung Man, the first, uh, first president of the Republic of Korea in the 40s, he says, says, united we stand. We heard that. Ephesians 1.10. But they didn't have forced that repentance, the mystery of Christ, so they, we did not become unified truly as one. So before we become unified as one with others, our own heart has to be unified as one within us. So that's why God says to live as proper human being and to help save our children. This path is the path to help save, save world peace and fulfill world peace. This is one heart, one way. He says to come for us to come here so, he, so that He can give us this blessing. Do you say Amen? So we, you came here to receive this blessing. Not just that I would eat it, but you would eat it. These words, you would eat these words, that you would be nourished by it, that you could all receive this blessing to resolve your problems receive the power and strength and to help save your children and descendants and, to help, and that you'll be contributors to your country and that you will help uh, fulfill world peace so God, to receive this blessing God gave us this word of nourishment Jeremiah 32 we don't have time so let's go directly there Jeremiah 32 so why are they not able to come in because of, they're busy Hosea 5.4 you can tell them the Bible verse point it out to them because of the dirty sins of har harlotry in their heart. So they are the ones, those kind of people, they go to the fake churches. They go to the fake churches, you help kill your, yourself and your descendants. Like Europe, 2,000 years after Jesus came, you want to have a church that's empty and in demise? We cannot go that path. So now, our place, 
truly, even though we're in a trash heap, a place like that, from there, there can be a rose that buds and flourishes, and that we can receive the best of all blessings from there. First Samuel 2, 5 through 10, receiving that blessing. This hour, let's all receive this blessing, and let's give it on to our descendants as well as an inheritance. This is such a precious time. Let's live life changing our faith, our destiny. Even though you're old, it will work. Even though you're advanced in age, it will work. If God does it, it will work. So today, your heart being having having being bright as a light this one heart it's what a precious blessing jeremiah 32 39 let's read with one voice don't read verse 40 and i will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me always for their own good and for the good of their children after them amen now let's read one more time and I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me always for their own good and for the good of their children after them. Amen. Now, this one heart, one way, is it something I'm getting or somebody will give it to me? No, it doesn't happen according to whatever we want in our heart. No, there's he who gives it to us, God, he gives it to us. One heart, one way, he will give it to us. It's when we receive that, when we have that, not only will we do well, your children will do well. Here today, if you want to receive this blessing, say Amen. That you and your descendants, if you want to receive this blessing, it's Amen, right? We're here to receive that blessing, that you and your descendants will do well. So, if that's the case, with one heart, one way, He gives it to us. If we just do that, then you will do well, your children will do well, then the headaches that you have up until now it'll be gone and you'll change your fate just changing your fate living a life in that image of changing your fate that's fearing the Lord each of you is fearing the Lord this incredible promise is exactly it's blocking all the curses and calamities at the end of the year when you have the year end uh, it doesn't end with the year end parties in the new years you want to block the calamities people buy talisman and lucky charms and people with money they go for fortune telling they, they do all sorts of deeds and all sorts of uh, things like this why? to try to block the calamity because incredible calamities have come to them because, because it comes Those each of you who do force their repentance last year what kind of calamity came to you? Uh, hardly any when it comes uh, because you when you have not repented through force of repentance then the calamity that you haven't repented comes upon you comes to you well it comes to you when you receive it with thanksgiving and quickly take that and do force of repentance God will change it into a blessing each of you in this world no matter who it is the curses and calamities what your ancestors have ruined Who's the one that promises that he'll change that into a blessing? Who's the one that can make that happen? He is the one who kills, who, who makes alive that who is dead and makes uh, into appearance what that, or makes into, pre um, only Jehovah God, he does this and makes into being what doesn't exist. So what's the most important to a person is not the head, knowledge or head, intellect, but your heart. Proverbs 3, four, Proverbs 4, 23. You have to have the heart that's single-hearted so people in the garden of eden when they disobeyed we become double-minded two-faced so we don't become single-hearted so therefore in james chapter one six seven eight so if you're double-minded and double-hearted don't even expect to receive a blessing when you're double-minded and two-faced you don't expect to receive a blessings because people fundamentally are double-minded and two-hearted and two-faced all the fallen people are double-faced you and me as well so that's why the sins come forth from our heart it comes forth and we become double-minded and two uh, and two-faced so that's why receive don't expect to even receive a blessings or answers to prayers that's james chapter 1 verse 7 8 9 and that's the case. That's, and then, you and me, to you and me, surprisingly, God. So, He gave us the heart of single-heartedness. That's God's mystery, to be single-hearted in our heart. That's, single, that's four-step repentance. First, God's mystery, for, uh, Colossians chapter 2, verse 2, it's realizing Christ. It's realizing Christ. Secondly, so this Christ is the mystery of Christ. After we realize that it's the mystery of Christ, that coming into our heart, that's Colossians 1.27. So Christ coming into, when it comes into my heart, Ephesians 1.10, my double-mindedness becomes unified as one. We become 
single hearted after when we are single hearted God gives answers to our prayers he gives us blessings so when we have double mindedness he doesn't give it to us when you when you take a picture when your face comes out as a double who's the one that would pay and pay for that picture they won't say hey, you have to have a picture that is one single not not double image it's the sins comes forth from our heart without us even knowing we become double minded everybody becomes double minded as you're sitting here should I do this or do that because you're double minded you're two faced when you're single hearted you won't have that so if that's the case when you live double minded two, uh, two faced then it won't work for you or for your children that person because they're not able to fear the Lord so today, what is fearing the Lord? One heart, one way. What God gives to us. First, the person that receives one heart, one way. What God gives to us. That you will do well. Your children will do well. So therefore, when you have the heart of fearing the Lord, He God gives that into a heart. And the one heart, one way comes, comes into a heart. Always when we fear the Lord, when we fear Him, then always that you will do well. Your children will do well. Receive this blessing. God wants us to receive this blessing. That fear, you would fear Him always and receive this blessing. That always receive the blessings by always fearing him so after that and let's read verse 40 and I will and I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from them to do them good and I will put the fear of me in their hearts so that they will not turn away from me amen now the heart of fearing the Lord when you have it then will you depart or not you won't betray God so one within one heart one way those who don't do it those who have demon inside why are they not able to do one heart one way because when they have the sins of immorality and fornication even though they're sitting inside a church they don't do it for one heart one way they pretend to do force their repentance they don't do it those who don't because of sins of immorality they betray and leave and that's a dis dis detestable sin their life is like a desert numbers 14 20 33 they live life like uh, is in a desert and your children all betray because of despicable sin then they don't listen to the words of their parents. That's Deuteronomy 21 verse 18. So, if that's the case, you're the children to the parents. When you betray Jehovah, one heart, one way, your children will be wicked and evil. You are the one that caused that. And from kindergarten, and the, the teacher did this. The professors of university, they, we met the wrong professor. That's why my children is like that. The politics, because of the education system, because of the political system, because of bad friends. Where are you blaming? If you have excuses and blames, those you, there are factions and dissensions with demon inside. They're the ones. They cause excuses. They blame others. Those who complain and grumble and blame others, God will destroy directly. First Corinthians 10:10. 10, 10. Why do we blame others and put fault to them? The, the children don't listen because it's not some sort of cultural issue or some era generation issue because parents betrayed one heart one way they have fe uh, betrayed fearing the Lord so to me to you Jehovah God is telling us to me to you when you do one heart one way when we obey and take and obey what he gives to us then you will do well and your descendants will do well but this covenant it doesn't end with one or two days but we have to do it he does it everlasting so in verse 40 I'll give you the <coughs> he will give us an everlasting everlasting covenant that we will keep his covenant towards so we have to always fear him in our heart so that we will not betray him forever that we would live life we would receive blessings and do well and go to heaven and give blessings on to our descendants and living life contributing to our society and to our country as you say amen this is being part of God this is what God wants for us oh, this is God's promise to us so we have to do one heart one way right so we have to receive what God gives us right so so one heart Ephesians 1 10 through Christ one heart we can have one heart through God's mystery for step repentance we can be single hearted this great pr promise God says surely do not depart from fearing the Lord do not with the heart of fearing the Lord if you have that then do you betray or not you will not betray in other words so one heart when you're doing one heart one way you won't betray whoever it is when you rece receive that which is given to us and obey Ephesians 1.10 then we become unified as one we just have to do that then it will work let's read with one voice Ephesians 1.10 
with a view to an administration suitable for the fullness of the times, that is, the summing up of all things in Christ, in Christ, things in the heavens and things on earth. No matter where on earth you are, when you go into Christ, you become un two or unified as one. You become one. So, in where is there a way for you to go into Christ? Through the mystery, through four step repentance, God, through God's mystery only. So, through God's mystery, four step repentance, when you do that and when you have Christ in your heart, your double mindedness, you become unified with one heart, one way. This is the first. Is one heart first or one way first? One heart is first, is before, it goes, comes first. So, four step repentance is first, in other words. So, this four step repentance, if we just do it, then God will this to, for us. But when we, when we, with one heart, we become unified in our heart. One heart and one way are not separated; they're one. They're attached together. First Timothy two five. Jesus and Christ are one. So Christ is one heart, and Jesus is one way. <coughs> it's one way, one way, one path. One. So therefore, so Christ Jesus. If we just have a relationship with, right relationship with Him. That when that's that's coming all into my heart, that's fearing the Lord. The person that fears the Lord, do they betray and leave or not? So therefore, they live a life of faith, and those who depart with excuses, they they're all bound by sins of immorality. That's why they depart. They're not able to come back towards Jehovah God. So they committed sins of immorality, and yet they have excuses and reasons. That's the image of the demons. So that's why when you evangelize, you go out. See, because of sins of immorality, see if they want to come or not, they're not able to come. So the person that can win over that and comes comes here, they help save themselves and their descendants. Who is the one that kills your descendants? I'm the one that's killing my own descendants. Let's resolve that today, that I may be made alive and help save my children as well. You say, Amen. So, this fearing of the Lord, what is it? It's one heart, one way. One heart, one way, when you fear the Lord, what happens? Proverbs 19.23 Only that person, they go to heaven. So, those who haven't done one heart one way, do they expect to go to heaven? Where do you learn this kind of lies? So therefore, it's a one heart, God's mystery, the mystery of Christ, forced of repentance, the person that does not do these, that person, they have nothing to do with the Bible. So that is Ephesians 2.12. So, then they talk about Bible study and figuring out the, studying the Bible and figuring out the Bible. They're really saying foolish things. You have to be one-hearted, single-hearted, for you to have the right relationship with the Bi with God and the, with the Word. And, and those who are not single-hearted, they have no relationship with God and Jesus and Christ. Those who share a message without Christ, no matter how much they give a sermon, it's all a sermon that's hellward bound. Colossians chapter two verse eight. So therefore, if you want to share the gospel and you're trying to evangelize. For uh, are you doing missionary work to help save souls? You're out of your mind. Colossians four three, chapter four verse three, sharing the mystery of Christ is evangelizing, is missionary work. So if you're not even sharing the mystery of Christ, and yet how can you lie, make lies, and say you are doing evangelism? And they're fakes who are doing missionary work. They're the same. Those who are doing that or those who pay money into that, they're going to fall into ruins. Both will fall into ruins. Those who donate to that, let's not go the path of ruins. Let's help save ourselves and our children and be contributors to our society and to our country and help save the world and help, help with world peace. Let's only be ambassadors of Christ. We're here to receive that blessings. What a precious promise this is. Proverbs 19.23 If you fear the Lord, what happens? You go to heaven. The fear of the Lord leads to life so that one may sleep satisfied, untouched by evil. Amen. Now, one heart, one way. One heart. God's mystery, the mystery of Christ. Four step repentance. When you do that, when you do one heart, when you're singleness of heart, with, you're one with Jesus, which is one way, you end up going the same path. When you do one heart, one way. When you ha receive that in your heart, in one person, fear, when you, he's the only one to fear him, the only one to fear. He's the one who never betrays he wh whom we fear. They're not doing four-step repentance, you may say. Then they are already lost to the sins of immorality. They, by word, they may say one thing, but they're double-minded. They commit sins of harlot harlotry, and they are committing the sins of immorality. Hosea 5.4, they have a heart of harlotry.
So with having a dirty heart, they're not able to come to our church. Then they're not able to come to this church. Why do they want to come to this church? Because they want to sin the, commit the sins of har harlotry and immorality. Why? Because of the sins of immorality. Why your children don't want to come? Because of this, uh, why do they not want to come? Because they have their atta they're attached to the sins of immorality. They're not able to come. Why do they come one time, not able to come again? Because of sins of immorality. So with one heart, one way. Those who don't fear, when you don't betray, those who fear the Lord, only they are the ones that go to heaven. Those, how you've gone around as fakes, you say how much lies you've heard that if you just have faith you'll go to heaven here today those who fear the Lord uh, they're the ones that go to heaven they don't, not only do they go to heaven so before you become the one who fears the Lord when you do one heart one way that you'll do well your children will do well so therefore when you do well your children when your children does well when you do one heart Romans 4 6 uh, God first gives us happiness and contentment when you're happy and content your children does well and they're content then you want to continue doing this so this let's make this everlasting covenant my covenant that let's, I want to go the path where I and my descendants do well the person that has received this are the ones that fear the Lord they're the ones that who are the ones who fear the Lord this fearing the Lord leads to heaven not only does it lead to heaven that you will do even better the parents when they don't know any better and they're saying hey child what I was born with I have a certain fate that's all my blessing that I have a little yard here for farming that's you know I was born with this as my destiny that I was born with this as my fate people say because of the sins of your ancestors and your own sins that's true that's what Yes, that's what heaven has given you but when you do one heart then in Christ God is there even though you may have lived with a small little plot of land but God will make it even better and change into everything good this is fearing the Lord God will make it better and better instead of your predetermined faith you say amen so that's why I always live life fearing the Lord that, that means always live life doing well that you and your descendants will always do well then and go to heaven after that and when you always do that when you always do that he'll block the calamities and live life with all the calamities blocked when you do one heart one way you become one who fears the Lord when you become one who fears the Lord God gives you everlasting blessing that becomes your blessings when you live life with that as your blessings when you do it with one live life with one heart one way you go to heaven you'll do even better with one heart one way when you fear the Lord the, you and me, when we repent, when we repent the sins coming forth from our heart, uh, the sins of immorality, no matter how much it comes, he makes it that we don't have it. Then you'll do better and better. You end up going to heaven. No matter what calamity, he blocks it for us. But this great blessings, you, do you want to receive it as your blessings? And you want to give it on to your descendants? Here today, we're here to receive that blessings. Let's all receive these blessings. If you ignore the word of God, you'll fall into ruins. So, uh, there, if there's somebody who's so arrogant who has a car accident, how did you, what happens, what kind of thought did you have, you had this kind of, when you had this kind of accident, you'll ask them, those who have, they said, do I have to believe in God, do I have to go to church, those who say words of dogs like that, see if they didn't get into an accident, see if they didn't get into falling to ruins in their business, having those kind of thoughts, Proverbs 13:13. 13, 13, up until now, the, the word of God is telling us this, each of you how do you want to live calamities do you want calamities be following you even though you even though you buy talisman and lucky charm nobody can block what God does none of that will block it the blo the calamity that God is able to block for us let's be one who fears the Lord with one heart one way and the calamity that will change into a blessing when you do one heart one, one, heart, one way uh, God want me, wanted me to write one heart one way. What do you want it to write with? Write it with a with a sweep a sweeper. I wrote it with a sweeper. He says, I, he told me to clean it with a rag. So with I wrote it with a sweeper and a rag. The calligraphy, one heart one way. So that's not the issue. Please, through four step repentance, let's make our heart one. Why is it that you're not able to believe uh, believe in uh, between husband and uh, wife, spouse? Because you have doubt and you're double minded. When you have double minded, who's tormenting you? You're tormenting yourself. Should I do this or that? Should I do this or that? Well, it's like the pendulum un underneath the clock. Well, isn't that the pendulum? That's. Uh, if there's a string, you'll go back and forth like a pendulum. So here today, today, one heart, 
He ge- let's give, receive this incredible things He gives us. When we confess God's mystery right now, that when we confess our sins right now, God's mystery, that you and your descendants will do well. You go to heaven, you'll do better and better. He'll block all the calamities. We're here to receive that blessing. We're here to receive that blessing. Do you say amen? Let's change our fate and do well. Let's receive these blessings. So the suffering that you've had, the torment that you have, let's end that. The parents, did they live a dirty life? That calamities, First Peter 1.18, it came down to you as an inheritance, hereditary reasons uh, so some unlucky person because of the sins of their ancestors they end up having a they have a normal ride of a car and they end up with a car accident and they become uh, uh, handicapped quadriplegic let's block that let's pray early that and let's do one heart one way to block all those calamities with this blessing let's with this let's have a new beginning let us all pray Lord God's words, ignoring it, scorning it. Surely, let me not go the path of surely falling into ruins. Father, by scorning God's words, you know, whoever it is, you said that you will give one heart, one way to who, who, anybody and everybody. Today, let's, mystery, uh, let's receive God's mystery and confess, force that repentance. Uh, let, let me change my heart with one heart, that I may be one heart. My ancestors have sinned, and calamity may have come in like a flood but upon me like a flood, but to block all of that, be able to block all of that. Let me be one who fears you, Lord God, to block all of that. In this world, this calamity, that's nobody. there's no way to block it, but thank you for giving us this mystery to be able to block that calamity that's going to befall us with a heart of fearing you, Lord God. Help us not to betray you or depart from you. When we do betray and depart, you said that when we do that, what made me do that is the sins of immorality and fornications. Help me to... Am I killing myself and my descendants and become wicked in society because and living as a beast? Help me to awaken from that kind of life because of my sense of immorality. Let me have realization now that help us to completely confess that we may be made righteous before you, that we can help save myself and my descendants. In the name of Jesus, and thankfulness and blessings I pray. Amen.